Like a very good evening to all of you. Uh, Mr. Ahmed said that he had the smallest team of three members. I had of two members, but I built on the entrepreneurialism <laughs> skills and I had a team building. So, you know, very diversified. Yeah, I had a talk and like, you know, they all are coming from diverse backgrounds. So, my group consists of Yashika Jay. Quickly, you can see which background you're from. All right. I'm yes. your background. Great. Kusum Bharadwaj. History. History. Rebelina? Psychology counselor. Okay. Dr. Himani Kohli? ATL in charge. Great. Lavina? Finance. Finance, as ma'am was saying, it's a very difficult topic, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bhavna Agarwal? Finance and uh, business, of course. Yukti? Artificial intelligence educator. Different, different, different streets. <laughs> and Sushma, I am from bioscience background. <laughs> okay. So it is an amalgamation of different streams and uh, uh, we will not go into detail, everything is detailed here, points and all. I just, um, I just wanted to talk that, you know, when we talk of NEP 2020, all right, the, the fundamental principles of NEP 2020 envisages the life skills of, you know, communication, collaboration, the teamwork and resilience. And also it talks of creativity and critical thinking which will encourage uh, problem solving and also will ultimately lead to innovation. So keeping in this mind, I think entrepreneurialism is actually encouraging all this. Okay, now looking at the current scenario, you know, the job scenario if you see in our country. And I was uh, reading somewhere that uh, it has been predicted that, you know, in another 10 years, there will be around uh, 110 to 130 million, you know, Indian citizen will be seeking, looking for jobs in next 10 years. This is a humongous number and you know the very fact, you know, thinking of it, you know, we, what our uh, next generation, next generation is going to go through, we have to really rethink uh, on the employability of the, this thing. And you know, our Indian <coughs> mindset is, you know, government job. Government job, retirement or pension all right. This is the mindset which we have got. All right. And all the citizens are generally what they are looking for? Government job or maybe uh, the yeah, economy, you know, what is traditional uh, jobs and all. All right. Um, here I just wanted to share one thing. Government came up with a scheme of uh, um, Agnipath. Prem Prakashan was being very much better. <laughs> Agni Veer they had and uh, wherein they were employing the youth for four years and they are training them and there was a lot of protests, you know. But we are not seeing the positive side. First, leave government cannot provide jobs, government job to each and every individual, which the public was demanding, maybe some political reason or whatever. Secondly, um, uh, what happens is we should realize that when these agni waves when they come out from the services after four years of training you have a more disciplined skilled person there who is a you know um, who can be an entrepreneur all right all the skills which are required for entrepreneurship that person has it all right anyway this is my uh, way of thinking uh, we have listed 10 points, you know, uh, regarding why entrepreneurialism is very, very important and it matters in 21st century. All right. Um, I'll request uh, my teammates if you can talk of any one or the other points here. One by one you can talk. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Mama has already spoken and even the previous group has already spoken about job opportunities. What I feel, uh, the previous group has spoken about the economy, the economic development of the country. And I feel entrepreneurship actually create new markets. A market ki simple definition is not that Karol Bagh, Rizodi Garden, South Ex. <laughs> Nowadays, after post-COVID and after all of this technology, uh, you must have seen YouTube, food blogger, all these things, even these are markets. And we are so lucky to have one of our students, if you must have seen Sadi Gaddi. Uh, she's a food blogger, Priyanka Sharma, 
who is a food blogger and she has created a new market so this is what i feel that entrepreneur when we recently called her to our school and she told ki ma'am in class 11th you asked me kaun kaun businessman banna chahta hai so i raised my hand ma'am main to business woman banna chahti hu and she was a very average student to kuch hatke sochna so she thought why not to become a food blogger and she's actually doing very well she has lot of uh, millions of views uh, viewers following her so she's earning pretty well so i think so these are the fresh markets even the traditional if the traditional professions or you can say business it has the level has increased pehle parlor wali hoti thi now it is makeup artist so what is this and people from good families good families daughter in law are becoming makeup artist because this is i think so this is a startup only it is a kind of a startup kind of entrepreneurship moreover what i have observed in many of your schools mr akhlas was swami i mean i'm not supposed to take the name yeah. educom people they come and they actually uh, take workshops so it was like eight years back when he came to our school and when we asked him uh, so he said i've done my mba from i am in dot so we said i am in dot and you want to come to a startup you started with a startup so he said yes ma'am 40 lakhs ka package chhodke i four of our friends they have started with this educom so this is what our youth actually feels you know they feel that we should transform a developing nation to a developed nation and when we talk about us japan so they have done this transformation by becoming entrepreneurs and we are very lucky to have such a youth and i think so it is the need of the art that people the students should become entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and you don't need degrees also sorry to say one of my class 11 student i'm not saying that don't study but yeah one of my class 11 student he's doing free dancing mm-hmm. he's doing many things uh, graphic designing and everything so he's doing it and now when we teach him business studies so he's able to understand that with me because he's actually doing it so all these things because for entrepreneurship you need more of skills and then yeah education obviously it polishes you moreover just to add, add one more point that new departments have been formed like recently uh, icici bank yes bank all of them they have started with a different department that is ecosystem banking ecosystem banking is that they employ people students or the people basically to interact between the startups and the venture capitalist so that they can provide finance so many and many students many and many people are getting into startups they are going becoming an entrepreneurs and this is how i feel that after some years india will be the most developed nation of the world thank you good evening good evening everybody so i like just to uh, add on to one point that you know an idea might be the first step but definitely not the last step which i take back from the entire session that you know being an entrepreneur is about the idea but it's all about the journey as well taking it all the way turning it into the reality right so that's it i just say stop quota factory and be the job creator factories we are all our factories yeah. and we have to create job creators thank you i think only two points to note entrepreneurship as ma'am said i disagree because our resource person was saying it's not everyone's cup of tea yet challenges are there with everyone point number point number two india has no choice but to opt for entrepreneurship given the fact the 65% of the demographic dividend which we would have which our uh, respected prime minister has said 65% people youth category means kisi sabko job nahi milega so it is a need of the hour we have no choice but to accept this and offer it to our students that's it thank you good evening so i am just uh, i want to just add a concluding line that we are living in the era of automation and artificial intelligence where we have new upcoming <laughs> upcoming softwares like chat gpt and also the job market is at its saturation level so there is a one famous quote when life give you lemons make a lemonade and when opportunities doesn't knock your door it's better to build a door <laughs> 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 I congratulate uh, Startup Ski yeah. on the collaboration of uh, NBC and uh, our uh, yeah. yeah. AIP. So congratulations. Uh, today's topics are very good, especially today's scenario. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so to end it with, entrepreneurship is uh, 
uh, is definitely going to provide students with a platform to build social and tech skill set which is a requirement of 21st century and to match the uh, skills of the students with the global workforce and the 21st century skills that is the fourth um, industrial revolution thank you everyone thank you. Thank you so much for bearing with us, the biggest team. And lastly, I just want to say that after hearing all this and whatever discussion we had, I just want to add on that, you know, I feel that entrepreneurialism is, uh, you know, after uh, going through all this, I can say that now we need to change or modify our saying, jack of all trade, master of none to jack of all trade, master of one. <laughs>